The fact that you see someone on social media and the person has done nothing to you, you just feel this person posts too much. And then you just start to resent. And the next thing you start to write ugly comments. Or you feel, oh, her lipstick is always too loud. Oh, no, she, 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 she tries to overdress. She dresses too much. Oh, who does she think she is? She speaks English and she tries to speak better than every other person. This person has done nothing to you, but there's just something about that person that just keeps, immediately you see the person or hear the person's name, your heart starts to beat so fast. Man, that is an evil spirit. And don't take it lightly. When people say, oh, it's just envy, it's no it's big deal. It is a big deal. This thing called envy has deprived a lot of women of a lot of things. It has destroyed friendships. It doesn't allow women to get mentors because we just feel, mm, why should you mentor me? You can't know more than I do. People have gone through health issues because of envy. You'd be amazed at how many women, young women, who have high blood pressure because their hearts are always so like, like so bitter. And I'm like, when do we stop? It's an issue that women have that we have to deal with. Envy is an evil spirit. Comparing yourself to someone else is evil because God created you. He gave you everything that he gave you. What he gave you, he didn't give someone else. And what he gave that person, he didn't give you for a reason. His reason. He created you to serve a purpose, to do something, to serve humanity with something, with your own talent. How can you compare yourself to someone else? How can you feel that that person's own is better than yours? Who told you that?